Today we're going to be taking a look at the Inno Multi-Cradle Kayak Carrier, part number INA452. Now Inno does not include bow and stern tie downs, and it is not required. However, under certain driving conditions, it is recommended. So please see your Inno manual for more information on that. This Inno Multi-Cradle Kayak Carrier system allows us to carry one kayak safely and secure on the roof of our vehicle. It uses universal mounting hardware, so it's going to fit around your round, square, arrow, elliptical, and most factory roof rack systems, just as long as that our crossbar spread is greater than 27 inches. Now each cradle itself has a thick rubber textured pad that's going to prevent our kayak from shifting while we're driving down the road. It's also going to protect our kayak's finish and keep it from getting scratched. The cradles are completely adjustable along our crossbars here, so we're going to be able to fit a wide variety of kayak sizes. Now that we've gone over some of the features, I'll go ahead and show you how to install it. Now all of our pads are the same, so we don't need to worry about any certain way to position them, just as long as our pad faces towards the center. So we'll just go ahead and start right here. Just want to place it on top. So then we'll grab our bottom clamp. We'll go underneath our crossbars. Then we're going to take one of our thumb screws, drive that through the top, and simply screw that in place. Right, once we've got that on there, go ahead and take another thumb screw, and do the same thing on this side. Then we can tighten those down evenly. We want to make sure also that the cradle sits evenly on our crossbars, as you can see right here it is. And we'll tighten that down, make sure it's nice and secure. Let's grab another one. Okay, so then we'll roughly place this in the same spot. One more thing, on the bottom clamp, you want to make sure that the padded portion is facing up to go underneath and how it's arched like this to go just like this underneath our crossbar. And we'll just repeat that same step. All right, that looks pretty good. Let's go ahead and finish our last two. All right, now for this side, we're just going to install them just enough to where you can still move them around on our crossbars, because we're not sure what size our kayak is, so there's no reason to tighten them down all the way just yet. So we're just going to leave them nice and wide. That way we can grab our kayak and kind of gently set it on our crossbars. So we'll go ahead and grab our kayak. We want to make sure that the opening is face down. That way the cradles can grip the kayak a little bit better. So I'll set it on there. It's going to kind of work it, work its way. So now let's go ahead and hop up here and finish working it on. So now we'll go over to the other side and check our cradles. So as you can see, we just need to go in a little bit on both of them. So we've left them just enough loose where we can just push it into place. All right, now let's tighten that down and do the other one. All right, there we go and then we got it. Let's go ahead and strap it down. Now Inno has provided us with two cam buckle straps and two pads. And the way the pads are designed is so our cam buckle doesn't scratch our kayak. So we'll simply just take the long portion of the pad and run the strap through this way. And just pull that all the way through. And as you can see, it provides a nice cushion for our cam buckle. Now we can just let that down for a minute. We'll take the other end of our strap run that underneath our crossbar in front of our cradle. Bring that up, toss that over the other side. And then we'll take our cam buckle and bring that end over as well. We'll set that right on top. Now we'll do the same with our other strap and then we'll run over there and tighten them down. We'll take our strap without the cam buckle, run that underneath our crossbar here, and then back up through the cam buckle. All right, then we can pull that nice and tight. And then as you can see, it provides good padding so our cam buckle doesn't make contact with our kayak. Right, we'll do the same on the other side. So with our kayak secure, 
Let's finish up by tying up our excess strap and then we're ready to hit the road. Now that we've got it all loaded up, let's go ahead and take it on our test course and see how it performs. So here on our test course, let's first go into our slalom. This is going to show us side-to-side -side action, such as going around corners or evasive maneuvering. Then onto our alternating speed bumps, this is going to show a twisting action, such as going over potholes or uneven pavement. Then finally onto our solid speed bumps, this is going to show an up and down action, such as coming in and out of a driveway or out of a parking garage. And that's going to complete our look at the Inno Multi-Cradle Kayak Carrier, part number INA452.